Okay. Let's talk about internal drawing. For example, this is a front <clears throat> pattern. For example, in this pattern, you want to draw some pockets, some internal shape and line to uh, swing together. It's very easy. As I said before, for drawing the main pattern, these are outline, okay? You have to use the polygon, rectangle, ellipse, or other tools. But if you want to draw something inside your pattern, you have to exact the same command. This is a polygon. We have an internal polygon and line. We have a rectangle. We have an internal rectangle. Ellipse, internal ellipse, and an additional command called dart that I explain it. We begin from internal polygon. As you can see, you have to draw inside. If you draw outside, warning, tell you, please check within the pattern. It means <clears throat> you have to draw inside it. Like before, like you can uh, refer to the previous lesson for uh, drawing polygon rectangle. I don't want to explain it again, but it's very easy. Just click, 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 or holding click and drag to draw something like this or holding control and reach the end <laughs> and as you can see it drawing an internal line internal line and now you can do a lot so with this internal line you can go and double click to select it and delete it like exactly polygon or you can enter a rectangle you can click it and exactly create a rectangle you will click and drag or here, it, 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 something will be add here. You can give exact numbers, as you can see. Exact, these numbers are here. You can define the center of your internal line based on borders. Need okay. And this is on internal line. And you can a lot of things with that. Go to the edit pattern and you can right click, delete it. You can clone it as a pattern or you can cut, or you can cut and sew, or you can convert it to the whole. If, as you can see, it's converted the whole. Or you can clone it as a pattern. As you can see, click it, sorry, and click it here. As you can see, you clone this <coughs> shape in internal, in inside of that pattern, exactly uh, another, pattern here that you can create your pocket nice and then you can using the 3d sewing tools segment click click your 3d click here corresponding point there and click and click and it's done and hit the space to simulate and as you can see <clears throat> with the internal line we can create our pocket very easy so this is an internal line or the space to simulate double click again to select whole double click and right click you can cut and sew or cut it if you select and cut it as you can see it's cut a pattern inside like that and it falls down because it's cut right you can do a lots of things with internal line Okay, control Z to show you something. If you go in here, <clears throat> you can define, you can change the color of and the um, appearance of your pattern. Monochromic surface, transparent, transparent, black, back of your texture. I will be explaining it when we reach the texture, but I want to explain it mesh. This is a mesh, okay? This pattern is a mesh. It's a, this is a 3D object that want to simulate your software. And then you can export to your other 3D packages, Cinema 4D, Maya 3D Max. So if you create an internal rectangle here, look at the meshes. Click and drag. As we can see, the topology of mesh will be changed. And that's uh, because it's add a new mesh as you can see this is a mesh that cut from here the topology of mesh change or you can 
internal line that ellipse. As you can see, the mesh are changing. So remember the internal line changing the meshes. And as you can see, we have a few mesh and it looks like this. So for better seeing that, you have to go in here and change the particle distance to a higher number. And now we have a better mesh here. This is all about the meshes. And also you can go to the texture surface again here, texture surface. And here we have a dart. Dart is for tightening somewhere in the clauses for and tightening the colossus, dart, click and drag, and here's the dots, automatic swing, and as you can see, tightening them. You can go and select dart, and instead of clicking, just one click. Just one click here, you can define a width, height for left, right, up, and down. If you want to exact number, you can do it. This is a dart, internal or dart, but we have another dart that if you go into the edit pattern, right click, here we have an added dart. This is an, another dart that I will be explaining it more. Okay, this is all about the internal lines. Or you can create just a line. What does it mean? For example, you can create a, just a line and double click to finish it, okay? <clears throat> this isn't just a line. It means you can swing something there. For example, you can go in here, double click and clone it as a pattern. Go in here and you can swing this segment to the this segment. In internal polygon and the line, you can create. This is the if you go into the polygon, as you can see, we don't have a line. With the outline that you want to create a pattern, you have to be a closed curve. But in internal line, you can just create a single line. And then you can go in segment swing and swing to the this to the this. And that's it. Nice. And as you can see, it's reversed because our swing was reversed. So this is an all about internal lines. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.